little bit of in, uh, interesting warning. Somebody hit the back of my truck last oh, no night. Way. Yeah. Most of the damage is on the tow tector, but it was like super random. Huh. I don't know. So we spent a couple minutes looking at that, just checking it. But... I guess this is uh, as good a time as any getting the Montevallo Parents Weekend Tournament started here this morning get to the boat shed to throw the boat on the back of the truck my dad was like hollering yelling something and I didn't realize what was going on I'm like what the heck and my tow tector was all bent up somebody hit the truck last night but we're out here now gonna have a fun day keep a positive mental attitude and uh, hopefully Something cool happens, so you guys stay tuned. We're on the Coosa River trying to catch some big spotted bass. You can, you can throw whatever you want. I'm gonna throw a credge. The, I think the best thing for you to throw, probably if you're just gonna fan cast around, is, a, is just a jerk bait. Talk about this one. Usually the high flyers are the ones that will react and move. He came and chased it a couple times, ate it, or tapped on it. And, oh, I didn't think I was gonna get him, not till he got to the boat. Oh, well, number two, little guy. if it was or not. Just dump it.
Just picked it up and caught one, <laughs> just like that. It's <laughs> awesome. It's not a huge one, but a nice one. All right, guys. So, one thing to mention, you know, when you're live scoping these fish, right now this time of year, like not every fish is real reactive. They've seen so many Demiki baits, and you know they've been scoped plenty. So um, every single one of the fish today that I've caught have all been pretty much within 10 feet of the surface. One thing to mention too is they're active fish. So I can visibly see them like swimming on live scope. That's a big deal, seeing that activity. Those fish, the one I just caught was cruising right at the boat real fast. And when they're moving fast like that, a lot of times they'll be reactive because they're not expecting something to just fall in front of them. A lot of these fish are just suspended sitting in place. So those fish are harder to get to bite right now than the ones that are cruising and being active. But obviously I'm trying to catch every single fish that I see, I'm keeping them all honest, but that's what I've been seeing this morning. They're all fat right now. Like you haven't seen a nice one yet. This place is... The Coosa River is known for some real big spotted bass. and That's not a very big one, but right now they're nice, fat um, bait fish eaters. This time of year they get real fat, kind of like they do in the fall up north um, where they feed up on bait. And they're just getting ready to... Really right now they're getting ready to start their pre-spawn headed up into spawn. This is dangerous. I said this is dangerous. I should catch one here. Got a pot of three of them. Cruising. starting to feed. It's coming right to the boat. So just be ready. Don't jump. Don't jump. This is a bad one. Please be a bass. Oh, no, no, no. Nice. Let's go. Let's get show there. <laughs> Let's go. That's a limit. And yes, by the way, I've asked my dad if he wants to try to catch some of these fish. We got a limit now, so I want to get him his PB spot today, so hopefully we can get that done. Always a good day when you're tying up an apex swim jig. I 
I don't think he was huge, but probably a two pounder. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I want to talk about doing something different. <laughs> Just missed one on the apex and throw up there and get smashed again. I mean, that's why you need a good hook. Check that out. Just barely hooked. Thank you, girl. Check them out at Untamed Tackle, guys. Apex Swim Jig. All right, guys, these ones are the exact same size. Just called out this one right here. That's what we're gonna toss out. But uh, not bad when that's your smallest out here on Lay Pond. We gotta catch some more three pounders, though. Check if he helps at all, but destroy that apex. That was awesome. That apex is awesome for out here on the Kusa, shaking them up. That little dude right there obliterated it. That was fun. There you go. It's a spotted bass, Dad. Oh, yeah. Here, come up here and show the camera. Heck yeah. You made that sucker look like a seven pounder. Mm -hmm. I was ready for a big old waller. I was ready to see a big old head shake right at the surface. Come on. There you go. Good job, Dad. Much. Two five. Nice. That'll help the cause. Number five is gone. Good job. Okay. <laughs> oh. That felt good. Yeah, I bet. That's the call right there. Dad putting in that work. He set the hook on it with the flipping stick. Caught this flipping a mat. Good call right there. Gonna take that. Good job, Dad. Oh, it is. Yeah, that is. That's the biggest spot. Hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. Hey, we we got your biggest, your PB spot too. Yeah. PB largemouth yesterday. Yeah. Even though it's not a huge spot, two four. That's yeah. bigger than the one you caught the last time. Yeah. Well, what the? And you caught it flipping. What the heck? Um, that's random. Just take that. You want to fit that next stretch behind us, or just go run some other stuff? Let's come back here. Yeah. Uh, Completely up to you. I think I think we could catch fish either way. But I mean I'm not, not enjoying doing this. This is fun. It'd be cool to catch a big one doing it. Yeah, I'd love to see if we have a chance to catch some on the tower. Never fished it, but it's a point. It's a long point with grass on it. I can see one being on it. Gotten enough bites in here. There you go, Dad. There you freaking go. 
Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Let's go. Dude. <laughs> Damn. Look at you. Oh my god. <laughs> That's fun. You guys can't see it, but Dad's back there flipping away. He just flips into this nice sparse patch of kusa grass and just. Heck yeah. Old hammer. Look at that crap right there. All right, guys, this is the fish he's calling out. One of the ones we caught this morning. You can throw that in the live wall. Good job, Dad. We've been getting them on this little stretch here. You got that? You just flipped in the middle of it? No. I mean, I probably threw a swim jig around it, but that's the thing. Sometimes certain fish don't want the swim jig. Or... That's awesome. I didn't think we were going to be throwing a swim jig today. It just kind of popped into my head. I kept thinking about it coming into the tournament, but I'm like, I don't know. This, I don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but getting that limit right away just took the pressure off. I'm like, yep. you know what? Let's just go have fun. It worked out perfect this way. The day's coming. Yeah. Kind of a decent one. Yeah. On the apex. We go right there. Decent one. We got about 10 minutes left in the tournament here. We're gonna try to catch one more big one, but it's a nice fish right there. Lay Lake has been kind of fun today. get the biggest? Uh, no, I actually did today, but mm. you might have had one on those bigger than the one I caught. Missed opportunities are not good in tournaments. Mm. Darn. But it happens, especially fishing this Coosa River grass. Number three. Number four. A swim jig either. Whoa. There you go right there. Number five. Thirteen point two eight. Fish go from today. It was a good day. Right away, we got uh, blood got our limit. And today, we just the rest of the day, we just kind of worked on getting bigger ones. 
What were your expectations coming into it? I figured it was going to be really slow, but we actually did pretty dang good. So. The weather was nicer today. Dave, the hold, them, hold those two up. A couple of spotted bass. Beautiful. One of those is your new PB. Yeah. Yeah, that. yeah he caught a 2-4 today. Yep. So. Beautiful fish. Be and here's one. Blair's. <laughs> here, I'll release that one. Dandy. Yeah. Wish we could have got a couple more of these today. Either way, it was a super fun day fishing with Dad. And uh, never a bad time when you're catching a couple of these on a swim jig and other reaction baits. Heck yeah. Fun, thank you. Yep. Parents weekend was a, su oh, a success, huh? Yep. That's what I'm talking uh, about. Well, a good last few days. Got two PBs this week. <laughs> Nice Large mouth and spotted bass. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and mom just got to spectate everything.